Douglas Nians talks about his Unfinished Earth as being effectively a symphony, and the way I like to think about it is is really as a as a kind of triptych of three symphonic poems, um, in much the same way that, for example, Debussy talks about La Mer as as, as three symphonic sketches and. One of the things that both of those pieces has in common is that they both deal with uh, nature and with elemental subject matter. Only in the case of Unfinished Earth, these the, the subject matter is on a much bigger uh, seismic, if you like, tectonic uh, scale. You have the first movement, Tempering, whose subject is the formation of the earth and its surface. And the second movement is called Eternal Ocean, which focuses, of course, on the seas. And then the third, Tearing Drift, is, is about the movement of continents and about the formation and the change in land masses. And so it is an ambitious work and it uses a a huge orchestra to carry across this idea of the scale of these seismic processes and, and elements. Well, Douglas's music very often seems to set out to achieve something which on the face of it shouldn't be possible. And um, if, you, if you listen to his music, you'll see that it's quite often, it, it quite often inhabits these forms of, you know, these containers, if you like, uh, which we recognise in, in Western classical music, uh, like a, a concerto, for example, or a symphony. Um, but the raw material, the raw subject matter that he uses is really drawn from outside the, the sphere of human influence. So, for example, the, the movement of continents or the... the the movement of the atmosphere in the case of his flute concerto um, or, or, or the formation and movement of, of the sea. Um, and so there's this paradox here at the heart of his music, which is this idea of containing something which is fundamentally uncontainable. And I think, and it's where those two elements meet, where I think that's, that's where the spark lies and that's where the energy is drawn from. <laughs> Unfinished Earth is a very textural piece of music, but the, the textures that he uses are very directly drawn from nature and from the real world. There's a sense of gathering in of materials from the outside world and arranging those, organizing those in time and space. And, and in that sense, I think Douglas belongs to quite a rich tradition of, tradition's not the right word, quite a rich line and distinguished line of artists and musicians from a range of, of disciplines whose work uh, draws directly on landscape and uses that as, as the fundamental building material for their work. So the experience of conducting Unfinished Earth is quite unlike anything else I've ever conducted. It's, it's been at, standing at, at the epicentre of this vast acoustic 
landmass, if you like, which uh, is, is slowly rotating and evolving and fracturing and reforming all around you. And it does this in, in quite um, in subtle ways and gradual ways, but also in, on a monumental scale. And um, it's quite extraordinary. It's quite unlike anything else I've ever conducted. And I thoroughly recommend the experience. Thank <laughs> you.